Hello everybody, Ken here, and welcome back to the Day of the Tentacle Remastered. It is pouring down with rain outside here, so let's just hang out and play some video games. And last time, we were building the super battery. We gave the plans to Dr. Fred's great-great-great-great-great-great-grandfather, Red Edison. And we needed to collect a few items for him. We needed soap, no, not soap, sorry. We needed uh, vinegar. We needed... Um, oil and we need a gold and we've collected the oil I think what we're gonna have to do to get the vinegar is to put this wine bottle in the time capsule so we'll have to find a way to get uh, uh, Thomas Jefferson and co to put our wine bottle in the time capsule and uh, hopefully that'll work out and then we can sort of go to the future maybe and and get it out uh, of the time capsule. Get the wine out of the time capsule, I should specify. And and then the gold. Well, there's a gold pen down. I, I imagine we can... Can we hop down here? I think this is a little shortcut you can take. If I remember this... There we go. Here we go. So there's a gold pen over here. Which I'd quite like, because I think that probably is our source of gold. But maybe we have to finish like drafting the constitution to do that. So maybe what we should do, just for now, is just have a look and see what's going on with Bernard. Because we haven't really done anything with him in a while. So let's hop back to the present day. Here's the, the broken time machine. Remember, we need to find a new diamond. We can buy a diamond. But I'd imagine they're probably pretty expensive. So let's have a chat to Dr. Fred. Hey, Dr. Fred. How's, uh, how's been a mad scientist going? How's the mad scientist biz? Not too lucrative lately. We're living mostly on the income from renting out our mansion. That and Edna's tips from her exotic dancing. Hello, hello. We've got to do something, Dr. Fred. We need to get a diamond. We have to do something. What do you suggest, college boy? No diamond for the central unit. No power for the chronogons. A mutant monster of my own creation, roaming the countryside, taking over the world! It's a dark day for mad science. It's all gone so, so terribly wrong. Uh, why cut? So what, what do we need why to fix the time fix machine? the time machine? It needs a whole new diamond. Now where am I going to get the money? I thought you were rich, Dr. Fred. I thought you were rich. Well, I didn't get all the money I expected from that TV show about us. We had to rent out our mansion as a hotel just to make ends meet. Uh. If only I had signed that contract in time. What contract? Well, after that incident when I was possessed by a meteor from outer space, Somebody decided to make a show about us, but they didn't pay us anything. All we got was a cut of the video game. Wow, that thing made millions. Yes, I forgot to sign the royalty contract in time, though. I still have it in my safe upstairs. Man, we, we should we should get that contract. Maybe we can... Maybe we can still do something with it. I've I've definitely left things too long before and, and not signed them. You go real bad. Just get get on that stuff. When you've got stuff to sign to, to get paid, get paid, you know, you've got to get paid. Get that YouTube money. Or I guess that TV money in Dr. Fred's case. It is it is torrential out here, like uh, over here where I am. The rain is absolutely just pelting down. But we need to get the contract out of the safe. Let's I hope that doesn't come through too much. That rain. <laughs> Sorry if it does. I Maybe it won't. The combination. But that's that's so stupid, Dr. Fred. I know. It gives my enormous brain nightmares. Every night I dream about opening the safe, but I find something horrible inside and slam it shut. Over and over again, night after night. Is that why you drink so much coffee? I haven't slept in two years. That's probably not healthy. I mean, I imagine that's not helping the whole being a mad scientist thing. But maybe that's kind of uh, essential to the whole process of becoming a mad scientist. 
I really wish he'd stop rubbing his hands like he's... Yeah. You're going to get really chafed hands doing that. Sorry. Coffee Maybe jitters. he's just oiling up. Maybe you should switch to decaf. No, then I'd fall asleep and the dreams would come. Right. Well, gotta go Enough talking. Let's, uh, it's time for action. Good luck. However, you know, being an adventure game, I wouldn't be surprised if giving him decaf coffee, that's got to be a thing, right? And then he'll fall asleep and then maybe he'll open the safe for us. Okay, let's, uh, let's take a walk. We didn't explore much of this house because we didn't get the opportunity to last time. So let's uh, pop in here. Hello, Uzo the Clown. I've never gotten over my childhood fear of Uzo. Huh. Give him a push. Just whack him. Ha ha! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, Bernard. Clown. God, clowns are terrifying. They're, uh, uh, I'm still convinced clowns are designed hey, to... Boy, you oh, missed the party. Hello. You and the clown were having a party? No, no, last night. This guy's got a hell of a look. Are they his eyes? Salesman's convention. Or are they like his eyebrows? I, I think you, they're meant to be his eyes, right? Salesman know how to have a good time. Nice cigars, mate. Nice cigars. I import them from the They're pretty stylish. Look at them. Munitions factories. So, want a cigar? Sure. Let's go for it. Let's have a, sure. a delicious Only cigar. Don't smoke. Smoking's bad, army. especially cigars. Cigars are like extra bad for you. Oh, jeez, he's got a gun. Whew. You had me worried there, sunshine. Your head off there, didn't you? Well, ah! you were right. God, he's killed Bernard. That's a good thing we can grow back another head like the alien in Men in Black. You shouldn't smoke. It's a bad habit. I mean, he's not wrong. There's probably a lesson to be learned there. Do not smoke cigars, or your head will explode. That cracks me up every time. I love how he doesn't have like a sound uh, cue for uh, for laughing. The vat of teeth. Oh, come here. Can we pick up this teeth? I can't get hold of it. Come here, you. Ah. Huh. Yeah, clowns. Oh man, big rumbles of thunder here. Clowns are- I'm still convinced clowns exist purely because you feel better when the clown's gone away. And that's the whole thing with clowns. It's like, oh, I feel quite cheerful now there's not a clown here anymore. Uh-huh, what do we got? A fork? Probably quite useful, we should probably grab that. Anything in the microwave? I'm not touching it. These models have a history of leakage. It's a little bit, uh, a little bit overly cautious, but not a bit sure. Oh, there we go, decaf coffee. Grab it. Just pop that in your trousers, Bernard. There's a couple of uh, jugs of coffee in there. Great stuff. What's through here? Ah, you see, so this is the same layout as the the old house uh, back in back in the past where Hoagie is. So what do we got in the cupboard here? Who knows what surprises await inside? <gasps> -la 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 That's a funnel. Well, I mean, I suppose a funnel might come in handy sometime. There's a washer. It looks pretty broken. It's a, a coin-operated clothes dryer. Anything in there? It's a coin-operated clothes dryer. No. All right. Well, back we go then. Oh, hello. Rash of cow tipping baffles police. Triangular man spotted at scene. <gasps> it's purple tentacle. He's up to no good already. He's you putting those, putting his newfound arms to horrific use and pushing over cows so they can't get back up. That's just mean. Hmm. Air conditioning, I guess. Anything in the? Hmm. Air conditioning, I guess. No. Nope. Oh well. Do, 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 do. Ah. Anything else over here? Looks like they all escaped. Oh no. 
I really want to grab this one, to be honest. Maybe we have to catch it like when it turns around here. Hold still, will jumpy little sucker. Get out. Come here. Maybe we can get it now it's in the corner. Hold still, will you? Damn it. All right, well, maybe we'll come back to it. Maybe we need something to catch it in. Let's go upstairs. See what's going on upstairs. Lovely stuff. Nothing on the flagpole. We got anything we can put on the flagpole? Let's put this help wanted sign on the flagpole. I'd rather not. No. Nope. No joy with that. I can't. It's stuck. What about the other one? It's already open. Not much to see in there. We'll just go in then. Alright. Use the bed. No time for that now. I'm Aww. saving the world from purple tentacles. Look, Bernard, sometimes you need to take a power nap to prepare yourself for the troubles ahead. You know, the world's a tough place and sometimes you just need a bit of a break. I bet there are better decorated rooms in prison. Can we go in here? Oh man, this is like an interview room. <laughs> a little bit suspicious, to be honest. It's closed. Not anymore. I wonder if that horse is still there. Probably not. No, they've removed it. They've put an actual room in there now. I wonder what's going on in there. <gasps> hey, aren't you weird? Weird Ed at Edison. Edison. The paramilitary nut? Why, yes, I... Hey, do I know you? Yeah, I'm Bernard Benulli. I broke into your house five years ago, kidnapped your hamster, broke into your piggy bank. Hmm, nope. Doesn't ring a bell, but I can't remember much about that period anyway. My psychotherapist thinks something traumatic happened to me back then that I'm blocking out. I believe that's from the original Maniac Mansion, which I haven't actually like played through, although it is in this game, I believe. In fact, I think you can play it on his computer. We'll have a look in a minute, see if it's still in there. It's probably still in there, right? So, uh... So you gave up, gave up being a commando? commando thing? I'm much better now. I don't have those, those bad thoughts anymore. I mean, that's now probably for the best. Stamps. Collecting stamps is a is a solid hobby. That's quite a nice collection. Can I have it? No. I mean, uh, no. They mean a lot to me. Sometimes I think they're the only friends I've got. I like your hamster. He's just reading and does he do tricks? Well, he's reading a newspaper. That's pretty impressive to get going. Nice Anything else? Hamster. Do does any backflips? Any hot? No, he just uh, sits there. Hot, I hot action. Have a really that, smart hamster, hot hamster action. Something happened to him. You know, your hamster should get out a bit. Like he's just—he's just sitting around reading a paper. That's hamster no good. Really hamsters need to run exercise. free, or not run free, but they need to run about. Well, Dad puts him to work down in the basement. Ah, remember we found that that generator. But then he starts sweating, and then he gets wet, and then he gets cold, and then he refuses to work. Your dad or the hamster? <laughs> Are you making fun of me? No, I. I get upset when people make fun of me. I just meant... Probably don't want to upset him. Ooh, it makes me so mad. Just, just, just chill out. Take it easy, Ed. Relax. I want to relax. That's the thought. It'll be okay if I just focus on my stamps. Yeah, Weird Ed, uh, in, the, in the original game, I believe. <laughs> yeah, as you can, as you kind of get the impression, he gets real mad at you when you, uh, you kidnap his hamster and... Mess up his stuff. Uh, how are the folks doing, Ed? How are the folks? Well, Dad's in the basement doing an experiment. Mom's in the next room spying on a honeymoon. Ted's in the front yard. Holding up a bowl of lard? Well, it's a bird bath, <laughs> actually, but it rhymes better your way. 
Right, well, we're we'll leaving B for well, now, I think. I, didn't get you too excited. I don't want to. I don't want to go through all the optional he, dialogue because you know you can always play through the game yourself, and uh, don't want to spoil it all. He's reading the Wall Street Journal. A classy hamster knows what's going on. Uh, can we talk to him? Nope. Can we just take him. Oh, just just reach straight through the glass and pick him up. You know. <laughs> he looks all squished in our inventory. Poor chat. Can we use the computer? Oh, look at this. Jeepers. Oh man, look at this. Incredible. Do we, uh... Sid? Got Michael? Wendy? Wants to be a famous novelist? There he is, Bernard. President of the Physics Club and winner of the College's Geek Award. Razor? And, uh, and Jeff? Surfer dude. And then you could just play Maniac Mansion. Maniac Mansion is a real well-liked game. Like, a, even more retro. Even, like, a little bit too before my time. And I always wanted to play it, but I always felt like playing through it in this game is maybe not the way to do it. And I should probably actually just get the game. But you can save it now, though. That's quite good. So maybe, I don't think you could save it in the old version. So that's quite a nice change if you can actually save your progress. And, uh, and what's in the other room? Uh, here's Edna. Hello, hello, Nurse Edna. Excuse I like her me. poster. What is it? I'm rather... Say, aren't you Bernard Bernoulli? Oh, that's me. <laughs> no, my name is Threepwood. No, my name is Threepwood. Uh... Nice try, but I never forget a face. You broke into our mansion a few years ago to save your little friend. Yep, that's me. Where did you come for this time? Um, and we should—we we might as well tell her. She's got a security camera. She ought to have worked this out by now. I'm trying to keep a tentacle from conquering the world. Really? How nice. She's got a lovely statue. So, okay, so this is the statue. You remember? Uh, we switched over last episode. We switched over the right and left handed hammers of, is it Ned and Jed Edison? And, uh, caused the statue to break. And then they, so the, uh, a different one got constructed of the other brother. And, uh, that meant that the sword's on the other side. So now this statue's the other way around, which doesn't seem like it would be a big deal. But of course, this being an adventure game will inevitably be useful later. Uh, I was just admiring your statue, in fact. I was just admiring your statue. Rather fancy. Thank you. It's been in the Edison family since colonial times. That it has. My ancestors carved it. That's absolutely correct. Quite an array of... This is a real fancy uh, setup they've got. It's fancier than my PC. This is quite an array <laughs> of gadgetry you have here. Yes, it's the best surveillance system in the state. Can I, can I have a go? I really want to get my hands on it. Do you think I with uh, the knobs. play with these a bit? Yeah. Absolutely not. Oh, come on. That's no fun. All right, well. Well, enough about your equipment. Anything else to Let's say? Let's talk about yours. <laughs> Crikey, she's eager. Hello, hello. Uh, we should ask how Dr. Fred's good doing. There might be some, some hot Dr. clues Fred there. Doing? Hot law. Well, he's still upset about the family financial situation, seeing that it's his fault and all. But he seems a lot better now that he stopped sleepwalking. Here we go, the sleepwalking. What's wrong with sleepwalking? This is our clue. Ordinarily nothing. But when Fred sleepwalks, he remembers a combination to the sick. There we go. I'd find him in the office, opening it, screaming like a cat in the oven, and slamming it again. Something about what's in there really scares him. Unfortunately, I was never able to catch the combination since he works it so fast. Okay. So there's got to be some kind of clue there. So we need to get Dr. Fred asleep. How did he manage to stop sleepwalking? Well, I think we found the answer to that is that he just How stopped sleeping, he right? How stop sleepwalking? He stopped sleeping. Uh-huh. Fred drinks a lot of coffee. 
Me? I only drank decaf. Well, we'll let her get back to what we're doing, but I'll I think we've got a clue there about doing. what we need to do to get the combination Come to this safe. Any time, you big hunk. Ooh. <laughs> She's eager. She's very eager. Bless her. Right. Well, we'll explore the rest of this mansion, but we'll do it next time. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, be sure to bop that like button and uh, feel free to subscribe for more of uh, Day of the Tentacle Remastered and plenty of other games as well, of course. I've been Ken. I hope you have a fantastic day. Thanks for joining me on this one. And I'll see you next time. Cheers!